Guys, I want you to take a look at this. This over here is the result of one digital asset. You can see here that this digital asset has sold 652 times in the last month for $5.90. And if we take a look at my calculator and you do $5.90 and you times that by 652, this one digital asset is bringing in this person over $3,000 every single month. Take a look at this digital asset over here. This one is $26 and this has made 437 sales. So if you look at $26 and you times this by 437, this digital asset is bringing in over $11,000 every single month. And on this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do the exact same. I want you to picture going out there and planting these different money trees, except they are digital assets and they're going to make you royalties over the next several months, possibly even years. And that's exactly what I'm gonna show you how to do on this video. The best part is a lot of this stuff is absolutely done for you. The software I'm gonna show you how to use is remarkable and people are seeing tremendous amounts of results. I've been using this now for over four months and I can tell you it 100% works and I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do the same and how simple this is. So if you want to make money with digital assets and you wanna make royalties every single month, make sure you watch this entire video as we're starting right now. What's up you guys, Al here again from the Smart Money Tactics channel and I know by now you're wondering what are these digital assets and I'm gonna show you that right now but before I do, if you end up enjoying this video, make sure you go down the bottom right now and smash that like button in appreciation and quickly comment, I want my own digital assets guys because once you finish watching this video you can absolutely set this up so go down the bottom right now and comment i want my own digital asset guys so what i'm going to show you today is a software called book bolt okay and i want to show you exactly how you can use this i made a video about this about five to six months ago and i know people that have gone out there and started implementing this and they're making conversions they're making sales and royalties every single month so what is this software basically this software allows you to go out and create these very very simple types of books okay and i'm going to show you where you can actually sell these books where you can get endless amounts of people interested in for example you can create coloring books you can create journals you can create diaries you can create notebooks look at this you can create puzzle books activity books coloring books and some of my favorite are the hundreds of low content type of books and they have interiors for you they have everything that you need from the cover to everything inside and everything else in between and the best part about this strategy is you don't need to print any of these different types of books. You don't need to handle any shipping. You don't need to do anything. This is linked up with Kindle, which is Amazon Publishing, guys, and they will look after everything for you. On top of that, you're going to have private training and everything once you get access to this, guys, and I'll show you exactly how you can do that. But first, let me show you how this works and how much money people are making with what I call these different types of digital assets that they're just planting around and one digital asset could potentially make you $50, $100 and all the way up to thousands of dollars every single month. So once you sign up to BookBolt over here, they do have a three day free trial so you can test it out. I've got a link in my description for you guys. What's going to happen is it's gonna bring you over to a page that looks like this. And on this page over here, you've got a few options. Number one, and what we're gonna do first is we're gonna have a look at how you do some of this research to find out what books you should be selling or the types of journals or notepads. And two, the other option you've got over here is how to create this book. There's only two simple steps with this guys, research and create, and everything is on here and it's super simple. So when you come over here to research guys, the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna come over here and you wanna click onto this symbol, the cloud. Once you click onto the cloud guys, it's gonna bring you over to here and as you can see, this is where you can start searching for these different types of designs. Now take a look at this. Over here, you've got categories and when you click onto the categories, 
You've got notebooks, journals, music sheets, calendars, planners, coloring books, guys, activity books, puzzles, trackers, sketchbooks. There is so many different alternatives to this. And then from there, you've also got keywords over here, which I'll show you how you can use that if you want to search for a specific niche. But if we come over here and we take a look at notebooks, for example, I've gone and I've clicked on to search. If we scroll down, you can see here that you've got this one over here is a notebook, for example, on things that people want to write down so that they can remember. As you can see, it says that and it's got I can't remember, S-H-I-T, I can't remember. When you scroll down here, take a look at this, guys. In the last month, this is the estimated monthly sales, 652 at $5.90. That's $3,800 that whoever owns this book is making just off this one over here. Then you've got this sketchbook over here. This is at $4.59 and they've sold 613 copies. Now, Kindle is going to take a fee. It's about a couple of dollars, okay, but you're still making hundreds and thousands of dollars with this strategy and the sky's the limit. You can print, you can create as many of these as you want. It doesn't cost you to go out here and create even more of these different types of concepts and books. Another one over here, guys, as you can see, 573 copies at $5.99. These are different types of notebooks and you can scroll down and you can have a look at all the ones that are selling really well. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. And the sky is the limit. So these are notebooks over here. The other one that I opened up, guys, as you can see, are planners. People love planners. Okay. When you scroll down, you can see here that planners sell for a little bit more. $11.95, $26, $13. The best part is that the inside of all these planners and notebooks and coloring books all the different type of content is already designed for you, okay? You don't need to go out and do any of this work. And when you scroll down, you can see that people for every single digital asset are making hundreds of sales. Another one over here that you could potentially look at is coloring books. I mean, we know kids love coloring books. There are also writing books that you can create. And when you scroll down, you can see here how many sales they're getting and how much money they are making. And there is absolutely no reason that you can't do the same. If you apply this and keep putting out these different types of digital assets, eventually one of them, two of them, five of them, and 10 of them will start to bring you commissions every single month. And these are royalties because these books end up being your own. So what you want to do from here, guys, quite simply, is you want to find one of these different types of concepts or one of these ideas so you can create your own book. And that's exactly what we're going to do on this video today. So let's say we wanted to run with this type of concept over here. What you can do is you can quite simply see this ASIN number. You want to copy this number. And then what you want to do is you want to go over to Amazon. Okay. And all you need to do is, as you can see, I found a whole variety of different types of books because I just typed in the title. But what you can do is you can type in that number, hit enter, and you're going to find this book. You're going to find how many people have left a review on this book. But take a look at this. When you click onto this book, when you have a look, they don't even they don't even show you what's inside this journal or this notebook. And people are still buying this in the thousands. And when you click onto this, you can see it's only got two images. It's got the front page and the last page because all people want is something to write stuff down so they don't forget it, okay? It is that simple. This is a mind-blowing type of way to make money online because of the power of this and how much money. And as you can see, this person's had this up here since 2019. We're in September 2021, okay? And this person still got this over here and it's still generating him sales every single month. So let's say we wanted to create something like this. What, what do we do from here? Well, quite simply, all we need to do is scroll up to the top and click on to create. Once you click on to create, you can see here you've got this book bolt designer. Now what we need to do is we need to click onto the book bolt designer. And the first thing that we want to create guys is we want to create the cover. In order to create the cover, you want to make sure that you select cover. Go to trim size and make sure that you select six by nine. From there, leave a white paper interior. Now the page size, you want to leave at 100, 120, 150. It goes up all the way to 240, but you don't want to do anything less than 100 pages. From there, 
quite simply just click on to submit. Now, once you click on to submit, BookBolt has its own set of tools where you can go and create this cover, the front page and the last page. As you can see here, guys, you've got all these different colors that you can choose from, okay? The other thing that you can do is you've got all this different text that you can use as well. You've got images as well that you can upload, okay? And this is very important. I'm gonna show you how to upload images because I found a better way to do this as opposed to using uh, book bolts. Um, cover designer, there's another way that you can do this. You've also got shapes here. You can come over here and select these different color drawings. You've got layers if you want to select layers and you've also got these effects that look pretty cool. So what we're going to do today is we're going to use this section over here where we can upload some of these different types of images. We want these books to stand out, okay? We want our book to look good because when you come over here to Amazon, you can see that some of these designs do stand out, okay? As you can see, here's a color in one that I found, guys. You want something that's going to stand out above the pack, okay? And one of the only ways to do that is to have a bit more of a nicer cover. As you can see, when you scroll down over here, there's all these different types of covers. And what you want to do potentially is just change it up a little bit. Now, one platform that you can go to absolutely for free to create a cover is you can come over to canva.com. Now, once you're on Canva, guys, what you need to do quite simply is just go over here to the search bar and type in book cover okay and once you type in book cover it's going to come up with this and all you need to do is just select that once you select that guys as you can see you have all these different options over here to choose from what i like to do quite simply is just click on to create a blank cover once you create a blank cover guys you'll be able to come over here and scroll down and find all these different types of ideas as inspiration. And as you can see, we're gonna alter this, we're gonna change this. But if you were to do, say, a journal type one, I mean, take a look at that, it looks pretty cool. You've got ones for color inning, if you scroll down, and you can insert other graphics, etc. Now, what I did, guys, because I'm creating a type of notebook journal for people not to forget things, what I did is I came over here and I typed in brain as an example. When I typed in brain, this theme over here came up. So I selected that and what I did guys is I quite simply altered this theme and I created this cover over here. As you can see, I've got the back and I've got the front. This is this image over here guys. All I did was I played around with the colors. I changed this title so it stands out. It's a little bit different to the other ones. I've got, you know, SH, hashtag T, not to forget the perfect notebook with that image that I found over here guys this literally took me a few minutes to create i'll put over here write it down because it's exactly what this is going to be used for and then this is the back of it okay super simple stuff guys you don't need to over complicate that from there all you need to do is click on to download go over to this section and make sure you select png once you select png come down and click on to download once you download that all you need to do from there is come over to Book Bolt and then click to drag drop images here. So select that. Here is the first image. We're gonna select that. We're gonna drag this over the top. And okay, this is the front of our book. So I'm just gonna drag this over. Now, as you can see, it needs to fit in within these dotted lines. I'm gonna pull that over. Okay, now you can grab the sides over here and stretch it out and then drop that over here because we just want it to fit nicely in there. Okay, so this is the first one that we're doing. Excellent, and now what we need to do is we need to bring in the back of it, okay? Drag it over to there, guys, and quite simply repeat the process and drag this out. So this is how you create your cover. Very, very simple stuff, guys, and this doesn't look out of place from any one of the other ones that we just had a look at. There you go, so that's done. Now from there, all we need to do is we need to come over here and we need to download this cover because what's going to happen? When you go to upload this to Kindle Publishing, okay, on Amazon, it's going to ask you if you have a cover. The uploading process is super simple, guys. 
and it doesn't take a lot of work, you can very easily come over to Amazon and have a look at everything that these guys have done, put in a similar title. When you click on to say any one of these, you can use a similar title. The other thing that you can do when you have a look at this, you can see here that they have a price, you can copy the price, and you can also have a look and see the different types of keywords that they're using as well. Although BookBolt can also help you with the keywords. So what you wanna do from here, quite simply, scroll up and click on to download over here. This is now going to download onto our computer. And as you can see, your design is ready. Click on to download. And now this has been downloaded to our computer. Now from here, what we need to do guys is we need to come back over to BookBot. We wanna close this off. Now what we need to do is we need to create the interior. Now if we come over here and click onto interior up here, what this is going to do is it's going to show us all the different types of interiors that are available on BookBolt, okay? And you can quite simply scroll down and have a look. Remember when we had a look at the books that are selling at the moment on Amazon, you can't even see what the inside looks like. They're not even displaying it. All they're displaying is the cover. So it tells me that if people are prepared to buy thousands of these without actually seeing the inside, then all you need to do is pick something that you feel that is a good fit for people to write things down, to remember things, etc. So all you need to do is scroll down and find one of these different types of templates that you feel could do the job. So something like this dotted line, people can put in a date, they can write something in there, etc. Scroll down or find something a little bit more universal, something that has a little bit more options over here. Or the other thing that you can do, you can come back over to this top section and click on to Interior Pro. So if you click on to Interior Pro, what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to mix and match these different types of designs so you can create a universal, more universal type of journal, notebook, etc. So the first page, you can come over here, you can click onto this plus, and as you can see, number of pages to add. So depending on how many pages you put here will depend on how many of these pages will appear. So let's say that the first one that you wanted to have is you just wanted to have, for example, a calendar, okay? So you'd scroll down and you can very easily find a calendar. Some people like to have a calendar. You can scroll down and find one, or you can have a monthly to-do list. As you can see, it's got all there, so you can just select on it. So that's the first one. Now, the other thing you must not forget, guys, if you scroll down over here, see this five by eight, you wanna make sure that you select six by nine. Now, as you can see, this is the last page. Now, in between the first page and the last page, we need to add these pages. So you wanna click on to plus over here. And as you can see, you can select this plus, and this is where we're going to add everything else in between, okay? So what you can very simply do, let's say you wanted to have a journal style, you can select this journal style, and then you can select, say, another one. Now, as you're selecting these account, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to delete this. As you're selecting these, you can see here, you've got a number of pages to add. So let's say you wanted to do 40 pages of the journal, okay? You're gonna scroll down and you're gonna see that all the way up until page 41 over here, you've got all these journal type entries. Now, let's say you wanted to click onto this one over here from 42, you scroll down. Now, let's say you wanted to have 60 of these pages because remember, we want to have this at least at 100. Now, you can mix and match how you wanna do this, okay? So you can scroll down and you can potentially choose something that's a little bit different, like wide ruled, so they can put in dates, etc. So select that, and as you scroll down, you can see here that now you have 103 pages, and at the end of it, you can also put something interesting on the last page. You can scroll down and you can have a mood tracker, for example, how people are feeling, people like to have that sort of stuff. So you can select the mood tracker so people can keep um, keep track of that as well. Now from here, guys, what you wanna do is you wanna quite simply scroll down, see here where it says download, and you wanna download this, okay? Now this is a downloading over to my computer as a PDF file, and this is the PDF file that we are now going to potentially upload on to Kindle Publishing. Now before we go ahead and publish this book, guys, if you come back over to BookBolt over here, you're gonna find that BookBot has a few more other features that you can utilize before you get this book published. Let me show you something very, very quickly. If we come over to Amazon over here, you're gonna find that all these different books, are, like this one over here, for example, 
As you can see, it's got password book, password logbook, interior password, organizer, alphabetical password book, etc. These are all keywords that are telling Amazon when somebody searches for something to show them this particular book. So how do you do this keyword research? Well, all you need to do is come over here when you're on BookBolt. Remember guys, I do have that link in my description. You click onto keyword over here, scroll up to the top and select search. Now, once you select search, this is where you're going to enter these different types of keywords. As you can see, I was having a look at some of these earlier. So when you come back over to these different types of books, you can try something different. For example, you can type in password log book. Okay, so quite simply come back over to BookBall and type in password log book now guys you can do this in any niche if you're creating let's say a fitness journal or an entrepreneur logbook or a different type of fitness um, journal notebook etc you'd come over here and you'd search for those different types of keywords okay and when you scroll down you can see here log book for password okay this doesn't have a lot of data okay now there are people searching for this and when you scroll down what you essentially also want to look for see password password log you can see that the competition is medium okay and sometimes if there's no data but you can see that there are people searching for it okay then you may want to potentially use this when you're starting out what you're looking for is you're looking for keywords with a low to medium okay competition score so that more people are going to find your different types of books whatever you're creating and the other thing that you're going to find over here is relevant products okay and it's also going to give you most frequent keywords it's automatically going to give you the keywords that you need to use when you publish this book and when you scroll down over here you can very easily select any one of these books over here to have a look at if you select it it's going to take you straight over to amazon and show you exactly what they're doing how long they've been around exactly what they've entered into Kindle as well. The other thing that you guys can do with this software, guys, is if you scroll down over here, let me just get rid of this, you've got this KD Spy, okay? Now, if you click onto this, this is a Chrome extension, okay, that you can download onto your computer, which will tell you exactly when you go over to Amazon, okay, and when you click onto these different types of product, how well they're doing, how much they're selling, etc. And the cool thing about this is, guys, you can scroll down and you can have a look at this and go through and see exactly how it works. Book Bolt, guys, if you come over here and you scroll up to the top and you click onto tutorials, you'll be able to see here, let me just get rid of this. As you can see, this is just showing me that I've been here for the last four months, okay? Now, as you have a look at this, guys, you can see here that BookBot has all these, they've got three, six, nine, 10, 11 videos over here, guys, of tutorials that will take you through everything step by step so you know exactly how to do this entire process. Everything that I've basically shown you over here, they will walk you through. Now, the final step to this, guys, once you've got your keyword research, you've got your cover, and you've got the inside of this book, is then you want to come over to Kindle Direct Publishing, guys. You want to sign up to this platform, okay, because this is where you're going to upload this book, okay, guys. It's not that difficult to upload these books. You can literally copy a lot of what these guys have done with their books as you can see it's not that difficult you just need to make sure that your information that you enter with this is 100 percent accurate okay because they're also going to ask you for some potential tax information depending on where you are around the world and, and all you need to do is upload this guys once you upload this onto Kindle Publishing. I highly recommend, guys, that you go and you repeat this process. You have an unlimited amount of books that you can upload with BookBolt, guys. And like I said, BookBolt, I do have the link in the description of this video, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button in appreciation and just comment that you want to create your own digital assets. Now, guys, don't go anywhere because I've got another brilliant video that's going to pop up over you right now of another fantastic way that you can make money online. If this isn't your thing, then I highly recommend checking out this video to learn how to make thousands of dollars every single day online. I'll see you on that video. Until next time, you take care of yourselves and goodbye.